Today on the Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make a quick and easy toffee recipe. This recipe is so good and dangerously addictive. Once I show you how quick and easy this is, you'll be whipping up your own in no time. To start, let's get our nuts toasted by preheating our oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And line a baking sheet with some parchment paper. Now spread out one cup of pecans or any other nut that you prefer. You can chop those or leave them whole. Almonds or peanuts are also a great option. However, the nuts in this recipe are optional, so feel free to use them or don't. We're going to pop those in our preheated oven and cook those for eight to 10 minutes or until those nuts are a little more darker and golden. By toasting those nuts, they're gonna bring on a better crunch and more flavor. Once those have toasted, remove them from the oven and let's get started on our toffee. In a saucepan over medium high heat, Heat one cup of salted butter. Go ahead and let that melt for a little bit before we add in those other ingredients. Then we're gonna add in one cup of granulated sugar, a fourth a cup of corn syrup, and half a teaspoon of salt. Stirring this continuously for five to six minutes or until that mixture has become a deep golden brown. The best way to know if this is done is to use a thermometer. This is considered the hard crack stage. If we don't get hot enough or that deep golden color, then we'll have toffee that is too soft. And if we go too much hotter, then we're gonna burn those sugars and that tastes nasty. Now that our mixture is that perfect golden color and has hit our desired temperature, we're going to carefully add in one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Give that mixture a few more stirs to make sure that vanilla is mixed in. Now carefully pour that mixture over those toasted nuts. Gently spread out that mixture to even out the thickness. As you can see, this doesn't cover that entire baking sheet, and I highly recommend working in single batches. Double batches, you're not gonna be as successful with. We're gonna wanna let that cool for about four to five minutes before we add in that highly suggested chocolate topping. If you want your toffee to have that chocolate topping, go ahead and sprinkle one and a half to two cups of chocolate chips across the top. Let them set for about two minutes to melt. Then use a spatula to spread those melted chocolate chips across that toffee. While our chocolate is melted, you have the option to get fancy and either put on some sea salt or some crushed nuts onto the top of that melted chocolate. There you have a quick and easy toffee that needs to cool for at least an hour. You can speed up that process by popping this into that fridge. Once it has cooled and the chocolate has hardened, it's time to break it into pieces. To break it, simply take that sharp tip of a knife and press it into the toffee. Break it into your desired size of pieces. Thanks for watching. You can get the full written recipe in the video description below. Be sure to check out the stayathomechef.com where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. We'll see you later.